Ditto. So we got, uh, this is Marshall rocking the blue Bowser on the player one side, and Rafa is rocking the red Bowser on the player two side. Oh, man. This is going to be something else. Not something I expected to see in Loser's Quarters, uh, no. Bowser mirror match, but well, let's get right into it. Where we are in New York City, we have all kinds. So Bowser is still a very speedy character. You see him like He's dashing still back and forth. Oh my God. He just did it. He just threw it out there. He just threw that drop kick like it wasn't any big deal, you know? Okay, trying to catch that Bowser bomb on the edge of the stage. Which does spike now, by the way. Oh, wow. And find the Bows losing his first stock. It's going to be Marshall losing it. Who responds Ten. back with a forward smash. I feel like these guys are just throwing out their heaviest moves. They, they're just mashing, dude. Yeah. Okay, a pun oh, wow. Raffle with the punish on Marshall. Marshall comes in with a grab. Gets the forward throw follow-up. The forward air. Okay, good spot good dodge. One, two. One, two. Spot dodge is a really good option in this game. It to, is. To counter uh, grabs. Very risky option for Marshall to go for. Raffle's just going to go for the freest punish of all time with that forward smash. Tries to up B through it. There we go, jab coming out. Again, just the strongest attacks. Like, they're literally just holding nothing back. There we go. Neutral error, good combo starter for Rafa. Potential edge guard. He has him cornered. Finds the whiff, gets the follow up. Retains stage control, a follow up again with a grab. Big damage for Marshall. The response from Rafa, just jumping back in with that back air. Bowser's pivot grab is not what it used to be in Smash 4, but uh, you don't, you still don't want him to touch you. Yeah, Fire Breath actually had a little bit of cooldown, gets the side B Got onto him. the platform. Not enough to get that oh, kill wait. just yet, because Bowser is indeed the heaviest character still. Big fatty. Whoa. Running 12. Tries to go for the back air. They're trying to back air each other. Forward air, exchange places. Rafa now has stage control. Marshall gets the side B again, misses Not, the platform. Yeah. Here, Rafa's back on stage, trading some forward airs. Just goes for just, the simple back there, just chucks He's him. alive. He's st yeah, he still alive. That slow-mo animation not sealing the deal just yet. Uh, another uh, side B, another slow-mo animation, and another okay. death. He Finally actually got dead. the kill. Actually dead. That was ridiculous. So two grapplers on the screen, I think it's a good time to mention now there's a t sort of tell when someone's about to break free of a grab, they'll start glowing yellow. That's your cue to actually just throw them. Until then, you have all the time in the world to pummel, and there's almost no reason you shouldn't. I get those grab attacks going, man. So, for uh, those that don't know, when you get a grab, you push A, you get the pummel in. So uh, the technical term, apparently, in the game's manual is grab attack. Grab I'm going to keep calling it pummel, but the game calls it grab attack. Oh, sorry, who won that grab? That was Marshall. That was Marshall. Cool. I know, kind of hard to tell. Yeah. We have a potential counter uh, switch. So right now, uh, Marshall is picking his first character to lock Simon. in. And now Simon. Rafa gets a free counter pick against Simon. That's right. So if he wants to say Bowser, he can. Or if he wants to try to counter pick Simon, which it looks like he might be trying out here. Mario versus Simon Belmont from the Castlevania series. I've never seen Marshall and Simon before. I've only ever seen him play Bowser. This, this should be an interesting matchup. Yeah, the Xeno, like the weekend they just had for the launch ultimate, he's been playing almost exclusively Simon. So, oh, he he, he has a lot of faith in this character. Yeah, I mean Simon's a great character because this dude is all about those projectiles. There's a reason why he has a limit in Castlevania with them because he'd, he'd be broken otherwise. Because he's really good at keeping the opponent on the on the edge of the stage. If he could get caught by that axe throw, that's a kill. Like, it's going to include a lot of damage. But he has a little bit of trouble trying to apply, deal with pressure, which is what Rafa's doing right now. Just getting in his face with Mario. Just trying to attack on as much damage as possible. Gets the confirm Ooh, from a down air into an up B. Can we get that clip, please? I see you, Marshall. Oh, yeah. I clipped it. I got it. Thank you. I've been, I've been clipping like a mad man. <laughs> Good man. All right, here we go. Goes for the uppercut to get back onto the stage. Gets caught by the grab. Goes well stage. Now that holy water is very destructive because that can also lead into a kill. I think that's Rafa's double jump. This could be a valuable resource. He just opts to go for the easy uppy recovery. Yeah, Simon is not super great. Is that another one? He, he keeps getting these down airs into uppies yet again. Another. One. Rafa's exposing himself a little bit there in mid air. He's got to be I careful. Think he's rattled. 
Here we go. It's going to be a potential edge guard for Rafa. Simon doesn't have the best uh, tools to get back onto the stage. He's able to forward air the edge to try to, like, tether it. Yeah, that, that helps a lot because, true to Castlevania, his airspeed is horrible. And now the reason why, this is actually the reason why Rafa's going for the Mario counter pick is because he has the cape. The exactly. cape allows him to reflect all, any of the projectiles that he's throwing back at him, but we have yet to really see it come into, like, practice where it's actually useful. Mm. He's done it a couple that, times against the cross. That's doing parts of just Marshall having a number. This Be is, gone. This that's a free follow-up. Whips it. Okay, Rafa is struggling to try to find this kill. At this point, he just needs like a grab. He can easily get the grab into a back throw. Maybe like just go for a raw. He's him off stage. Period. Okay, you gotta avoid that down tilt by just going for the short hop back air. Flood is ready to go. Flood has gonna push him off stage a bit to mess with his mm, recovery. Uppercut has a huge hitbox. To cover him a little bit. Throws the axe. Woo! Barely avoids it. That will kill Rafa. Back airs him. There you go. Marshall got a little greedy with those forward smashes. Okay, we're moving. Throws the axe again. Rafa just goes for the simple grab up into the up throw. Narrowly avoids that down air. You saw Marshall going for yeah. the down air into another up, up B kill. That would have been three for three. Forward tilt's gonna push him off stage. Rafa still has his double jump, goes for the super jump punch to get back onto the stage safe and sound. Uh, Marshall kinda let him get back on the stage for free there. He could have easily like thrown like a projectile and just try to help with the edge guard process, you know, try to force an off. He, he tried it again. A little bit too high a percent for that to actually work now. But Gets that the will forward kill air. There we go. Vampire killer tips better than Falcons. You can yeah. quote me on that. Marshall taking that game 2-0. First with a Bowser rear match, and second off with Simon. He's going to go off to face off against John Numbers and Loser Semi. This is the best victory pose, by the way. This I, I cannot get over this victory Cause, pose. Because everyone looks cool. He's just practicing neutral. That's it. He's playing Castlevania, dude. Exactly. He's playing the original Castlevania. <laughs> this is a dope game. So, yeah, oh God, I love that game. I need, the game to, play, is I need well to play more of them, to be honest. You should. Yeah, some of the classic ones are really good. The one I was underrated the most is um, Dracula X, in my opinion. Which just came out on Which PS4. Which one is that for? Uh, that's for PC Engine, but uh, it was just re-released on PS4. So if you didn't have a Turbo Graphics 16, you know you, you weren't oh, playing. Oh, that's it. right. That's yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, you need to import Turbo Graphics. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Rondo of Blood? Yeah, it's part of the yeah. Rondo Blood uh, Symphony Night. Yeah, I, I, cause I mean, you could have played on SNES, but the port wasn't very good. Mm. It wasn't. Re was that released in the states? Mm. I thought. Um, I, th I thought it was Symphony only, the Night first. So like, it was, but only on SNES originally, and it was a watered down version because the original version oh, was CD based. Oh yeah, that's what it is. And then it was re released on a PSP a couple of years later. I do remember that. It was in, in, in 3D. But it wasn't the 2D, it's a 2D sprite based game. I think I had voice acting too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Rondo of Blood was, yeah, had voice acting. The godlike voice acting. In like 93. <laughs> pretty, pretty crazy. So we got ourselves a grudge match coming up, man. We got John Numbers sitting back up to the table fighting off against Marshall. Now, for those that don't know, this is semis John, uh, this is quarter. Uh, this is loser semis. So, loser, this is going to go home with a fourth place finish. Now, the tournament that they played at was a Saturday tournament, or Friday night tournament, uh, opening night. Uh -huh. It was uh, the Waypoint Cafe venue over in, uh, it's literally like oh, a that was hosted by, what was it? Um, Brian. Brian was the dude's Street name. Pass NYC, I think? Yeah, Street Pass NYC was also the dude. But anyways, that tournament ended up being the finals match was between these two. And the winner, John Numbers, won a Switch, which really? he then sold to me. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> yeah. and then Marshall went home with a GameCube controller. Dang, that's that's, that's, that's a big difference. Oh, oh yeah. Anyway, guys, so we get to the next match. Don't forget to use those Matcherino links. Please. Come on, code Gauntlet1, right? $120. Gives these men more incentive. It's absolutely free to click those links. So let's get jump back right into it. Pokemon Stadium 2. Bowser being represented by Marshall, player one. And then we got John Numbers on the player two side as Inkling. Mm, tough guy just powering through that. He does not care. Yeah, but he's full of ink. Not looking too different out here. Now, Inkling's got this cool thing where she can control how far she throws the uh, power bomb. She can do an underhand or an overhand. Yeah, just like Snake. Yeah. Very similar, and then it, it, it lasts arguably a bit much, longer. arguably much more useful. Though. That was amazing spacing coming out from numbers. You yeah. saw him just not even worry about that Bowser bomb before committing to that take forward smash. Push. Another forward smash. We're seeing a lot of uh, Marshall overextending a lot, and John Numbers just capitalizing on all the punishes. By the by, for those not to know, the Ink Roller also has another use. That's death. That's that's one of them for kill confirms, obviously. 
the other is the the trail of ink it leaves behind. If put, if a character runs on that, they actually run much slower. Yeah, it, it, it can it can mess with people's. She makes speed. her own hazards. Now, even though you see her do, using a lot of ink and trying to use a shield yeah, a little bit, that spends a lot of ink. You see that ink meter next to uh, Ink League's profile picture down there? That's right. He's got to be wary of that, but now he's he has enough ink for one more spy grenade. And you refill that by holding special button and shield. Yep. Oh, going to be able to challenge out with the forward air. Yeah, I knew he was going for a grab. Didn't quite get it. Numbers getting these follow-ups. Bowser ugh, such ugh, combo ugh. fodder. My man looking like sandbag out here. Gets the roller follow up, forward smash. smash. Oh, why not up smash? It wouldn't have killed. Bowser's really big. Uh, yeah, you're right. Heaviest character in the game. I don't know how many times I can say oh. it. 177% keeps throwing the splat grenades. Connects the back air, still living at 191%. Numbers going for That's the edge hit. guard, but he's not coming back. No, so close. Yeah. Not the greatest recovery. Still decent, though. Yeah, we got we got Marshall on his final stock here. Just Gets drop kicked him. Goes for the trade, and that's exactly Just what heavies want to do. Scaly feet to your face, dudes. Heavies want trades. That's all they want. That's all they ever want. There we go. Four like the new the animation on Bowser's up though. It's like the way he yeah. pops up. That's really. That's really good. The animations but, in general. It's like a. Slick. It's like a squash and stretch. Ooh, oh. good parry coming out from Marshall. Gets the follow up afterwards. Down tilt. Dashing back and forth, waiting for Numbers to commit. Now, because Numbers re grabbed that ledge, he was actually pretty vulnerable for Marshall yeah, to try to say. go for something. Fire Breath, try to just cover we it. Numbers waiting it out, trying to recover low. The Super Jump has a lot of recovery to it. We probably won't today, but there is actually a ledge grab limit of, I believe, six. So after the fifth time you try to grab ledge again, you will just fall right through. Whoop. Down throw. Oh. Gonna avoid that down smash. Just get out of here. Just like, I don't want any part of this. I'm low on ink. Oh, he let me charge the phrase. Just throws the splat oh. bomb point blank in his face. That's not what he wants. Oh, just goes for the down smash, catches him a little bit away from his shield. Now we're entering the last stock scenarios again. Now, Rage isn't what it used to be in Smash 4, but uh, Bowser still. Oh, that that's is it. a broken shield. This is death, actually. Slow walk, and. He could have pushed him farther. Drop. It does not matter. Because he broke the shield with Bowser Bomb. Marshall brought that back from the depths of hell. Taking away game one from John out of nowhere. Yo, that is a huge momentum shift. You know, you know John's kicking himself in the face for that one. I would too. So what's cool, uh, another He's thing with this with game, guns, though, literally. Uh, another thing with this game is that you can push your opponent when their shield's broken. So Marshall actually had even more time to push him as far as possible if we're going for that forward smash. But here we go. It's like, nah, this is enough. Everyone's oh. saying Inkling stops here, but right now I'm seeing a Bowser take away game one from Inkling. So let's keep going. Da bows. Go shooting some ink. Again, gonna waste your ink a little bit. Has it pretty low? Now this is the point in time where Marshall wants to play aggressive because he realizes that yeah. all numbers wants to do now is charge his ink. So Marshall's gonna get in there, try to do as much damage as possible, keep him cornered. Numbers is thinking about what to do. Trying to go for the pivot grab, goes for a jab instead. Ooh. Nice coverage with the uppie. I'm seeing numbers shaking his head a little bit. Mm. Catches the ledge jump. Marshall's moving. Because he went for that, he gave him ample time to charge the ink just a little bit, enough to give him a splat bomb just in case he needs it. Once too high for that. He wanted the up air follow up. Oh, watch you get up. Side B on back onto the platform. Not, not enough to get the kill. kill. But that was very, that was a very good reaction. Yeah, Marshall had more control there because he had less percent. I, I absolutely would have gotten hit by that in that situation. Forward throw gets caught by wow. the down air. Sends him so far flying that there goes his stock. Marshall taking away stock number one. Are we sure? Are we sure Marshall isn't like a shell player in another life? Because he is having future visions right now. God damn. He, I mean, he actually has messed around with Shulk in the previous game. Has he? I was up, I was That's going to be a forward smash. That's it. There, he is gone. You got to be careful about that splat roller. Okay, good air dodge from Numbers, avoiding the forward air. Tries to go for the follow up. Gave up stage control in the process. Yeah, I, I would have just stayed. But he's back. No harm, no foul. And again, Numbers wasting a little bit of his ink there. Throws out a bomb again. Not going to do yeah, much. But because he threw out a bomb, it gave him time to charge up his ink. Because Bowser didn't really want to jump over that and try to like approach her dangerously, you know? 
Because you, you'll notice that Inkling throws the bomb to force her opponent to jump, to go airborne, so that she can go for a punish afterwards. Constant because tag. he teched, you can't tech against Inkling. That is something you cannot do. Which kind of like flies It's backwards face. thinking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, wait, this isn't good. What a punish! Goes for the parry instead. Down smash mm. coming out. Mm. Gets him out of that roller. That's exactly the type of gameplay you need to see. That's the good stuff right there, I'll tell you what. Adaptation. He goes for the Bowser Bomb to re-grab onto that ledge. Numbers gets the up air afterwards. Wow. Taking away the second stock away. Up air would kill. Hmm. I learned something new today. Oh, we are landing with these aerials. Throws the bomb behind his face. don't agree with that. Because he teched. <gasps> but he mashed out Ooh. quick enough. It almost good. happened again. That was a good reaction from Numbers. I'll go for that spot dodge to avoid it. That he charged bad. that for so long. What a call out coming out from John. Game number two going his way. Inkling. All right, Numbers uh, saying he's down, but he's not out. He heard that uh, heard that $130 plus prize pool. He wants it. Yeah, there's a lot of money on the line for a local here. Here we go. Game number three, the final game. We got Marshall with the counter pick. So whatever character that John picks, he is locked into, and Marshall does have the yeah. ability to counter pick him. We're going to Lilat? What? Lilat Cruz making its first appearance today. First appearance ever, Rock, from my experience. Then again, it's day five. Yo, is he about to counter pick Wolf? I think he's I think he's fine he has with Bowser a wolf. to be honest. He has a wolf. Though. He does, but yeah. No yeah, he's sticking with Bowser. He just wants the theme. <laughs> no, I understand it. I would too. All right, let's get it. Game number three. Now, this is the first time I'm seeing an ultimate newcomer on Lilat. I wonder how Inkling will fare. Now, the reason he picked this stage, right, is because now he has three platforms to work with. Like, it's not, it might not be the triplaz that Battlefield offers, but allows him to still connect the side it's arguably, and land on three different ones. For yeah, it's arguably better for that. Yeah. That was okay, a scary okay. situation. John had him off stage for a potential gimp. Guys go for the roll, ends up just going for the sh uh, B out of shield as a punish. As long as you see the roller coming, it is super punishable afterwards, oh, but boy. the second he caught him landing, didn't go for the most optimal punish, though. You saw him go for that dash tag. I think that was supposed to be uh, dash canceled into a jab, rapid jab, specifically. Oh, gotta be careful. The stage actually working against him now. Forward air, numbers taken away. Charges up the ink to boot, only gets it halfway. Didn't go for the rapid jab. Didn't trust it at that low percent. Oh boy. Gets the roller. Oh okay, yeah, that was a little greedy. Okay, Bowser's chilling. Yo, this this remix slaps. Mm -hmm. Out of ink. Now's the time to pursue. Oh, he wanted that grab. John's gonna punish it. Oh, here we go. Adaptation coming out. He has Marshall off stage, continually hitting him with that gun. I, li I like the little drop down after the double jump and then up B. Where are you going, oh, my good sir? That was unfortunate for Marshall because he committed to the. He was trying to get a tech, but he ended up going for the air dodge a little bit too soon, fell off stage, and there's so much lag afterwards that he just died. Pretty sure he lost his double jump in the process there, too. So now we're seeing Marshall on his final stock against Numbers, who still has all three. Forward air, 103%. Goes for the down Very tilt. Nice. That was smart. That hit through the platform, too. Took the trade. But I don't know if he wants trades at this point. Yeah, now they're now trades are very ill-advised. Good mash out from Marshall. Getting out of that pummel before the forward smash connected. Wow, just do it right in his face. He, he, I don't care. He's glowing orange. Uh, oh, okay. well, I mean, yeah, I, you got him. It wasn't even the spike yeah. hitbox, Yeah, I, he was. so what was going He tried to land on the ledge. He, he wanted to grab yeah, on the ledge, auto-cancel yeah. it. But it, you know what? I, I want to blame Lilat, but it was his counter pick, so it's like you yeah, can't, can't feel sorry for yeah. the dude. So that it sucks when that happens. Good, that good stage pick in theory and practice, not so much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So here we go. We're going to move on to Losers Finals. John Numbers fighting off. Again. Like